And I thank you, Hilti, for sponsoring this video. We will be using the Hilti deep sockets, uh, impact rated sockets, to take off these lugs. And it, guys, this is actually a perfect fit. No wiggle in this at all. I got to do a video on these, uh, of what these really are. Like, that's actually a perfect fit. There is no wiggle in that whatsoever. Let's do a little versus video against these two low range impact wrenches. Now, one of them is 12 volt, the other one's 20 volt. But contractors actually use impact wrenches to do lags because if you use an impact drive or even a drill driver, you are probably going to break the actual adapter that goes from a quarter inch to a half inch. The Dolt Atomic with a 1.7 amp hour battery that is full weighs 3 pounds or 3.3 ounces. And the Milwaukee M12 Stubby with a 5 amp hour high output battery with a full battery weighs 3 pounds and 0.7 ounces. We will be using a half inch to a quarter inch adapter with a collet. Try LED beams on the front. We will be using Hilti nut setter bits. All right, first let's do a 6 inch timber lock, then an 8 inch timber lock, then a 6 inch by 3 eighths inch lag then a four inch by half inch lag, then a six inch by half inch lag, then an eight inch by five eighths inch lag. It's on speed two. Speed three, by the way. We'll use screw for the rest of the test. Six inch by three eighths inch leg. Four inch by half inch leg. All right, so this is gonna be a tough task. So we are gonna do two pre-drill holes, one per tool. Inch timber lock pre-drill hole is good enough. We're gonna do it right here and right here. 12 old tools are powerful, you guys. They are, that's an eight inch timber lock. No problem. Do the other one right here. This is my favorite tool ever made. A 12 volt screwdriver. Homeowner DIYer, get yourself a 12 volt screwdriver. So let's see what these can do with this 5 eighths by 8 inch lag. All right, since this is an extremely low amp hour battery, let's give that a break for a little bit. We have one bar on the battery. Let's give that a break for a few minutes and see if it goes back up. We are gonna do the same thing for this tool because it's a 12 volt tool. Even though it's a five amp hour battery, it's a 12 volt tool still. It's gonna draw out a lot more power because of the voltage. So that's what the purpose of this video is. Let's see what it can do. All right, it's, it's been a few minutes. I uh, still have one bar. Let's see if it can finish it. A little bit more. Oh, my bad. And that, I think the battery is drained. Eh, it finished it though. It finished it. All right, so let's see how well the M12 does with this. Battery is full. 
but that might change doing this task. This task is gonna drain this battery just like it did that, but only one way to find out. Let's see. A little bit more. Half full on the battery, which is not bad. And it's there. Done. But does it have the power to take it out? Take the battery out maybe, put it back in. It's gotta have just enough juice. All right, so we are gonna put this on the back burner. We have one more test to do with this. Let's see if we can do it. But let's just get a battery just to take that out. But as you can see that these type of tests drain these low amp hour batteries, we'll just take it out with a regular two amp hour battery. It'll do it. time it is a very powerful tool you guys all right so let's take it out let's see if it can indeed it can not bad for a 12 volt tool you guys not bad at all all right but we have one more test let's see what the battery life is battery life is at one for the power stack 1.7 amp hour battery and for the Milwaukee M12 5 amp hour high output battery, we are at two bars. Let's do one more test. So let's see if the DeWalt Atomic still has what it takes to take off a lug nut. We are going to switch the DeWalt setting to bolt. Ooh, it can. Holy cow. It was able to take that off easily. Oh, let's put that back to 150 foot pounds. go all right let's take this out as well we'll do this one yes it can let's put that back to 150 foot pounds so bam i thank you hilti so much for sponsoring this video so i live in northern illinois it is cold here these i did temperature readings throughout the video but they're these tools are cold 66 degrees for the atomic and 79 degrees for the dual off of the milwaukee both of these did fantastic of course, this video was about a 12 volt tool with a high amp hour battery versus a higher voltage tool with a low amp hour battery to see if there's a middle. On the 12 volt tool, there are two bars remaining on the 5 amp hour, and there is still one bar on the 20 volt tool with a 1.7 amp hour. But as you can see, it's still going, it's not completely drained. That 5 8 inch lag just drained the battery. So that's pretty much it guys, I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video, please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas, thank you for tuning in, I'll see you guys next time.